Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time, the first pro tournament of EAFC 24. And I'm going to talk you through the rules, how the tournament works, which is a lot different this year because EA have made some big changes. And then we're going to build the best team we possibly can. Let me talk you through the FC Pro Open. So if you're in Division 4 or higher, by the 1st of October, you could sign up on EA's website and be able to play. As a result of this, there was over 4,000 players signed up in my region who had to play in a ladder for two weeks. So after them two weeks, you'd get the best 256 players who have now qualified for the tournament that I'm playing in on Saturday. And these 256 players are going to turn into 12. So I'm going to have to bring my A game and build the best possible team because we cannot afford passengers this weekend. In these pro tournaments, we have to follow restrictions. We are not free to do what we want. EA have a level of control and this is what they've decided for us. There's no three back allowed and there's no five back allowed. That is a fantastic move. EA deserve credit for that because we're only allowed to play four at the back, which means no ratty formations and a lot more goals and hopefully a lot more enjoyable games. Then we also have restrictions on our squad as well. We're not allowed to buy 11 icons. I mean, we used to be able to back in the day, but times have changed, EA have changed, and we now have restrictions. The restrictions are as follows. You are allowed a maximum of one icon. You're allowed a maximum of one hero, and you're allowed a maximum of two players 90 rated or above that aren't icons or heroes. The catch to this is you can swap your hero out for another 90 rated player. So if you really like three 90 rated players, you don't want a hero, you can have one icon and three players above 90 rated. Every other player in the team must be 89 rated or below and this rule doesn't apply to the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper can be an icon, he can be a hero, he can identify as anything. He has no rules. And in EA's final attempt to get rid of pay to win, we are allowed loan cards. All great teams start with a great goalkeeper and none other than Edwin van der Sar, six foot six, absolute machine in every single version of the game. He is one of the best goalkeepers. I've got him on loan. He's good for chemistry. He's six foot six. He's a very tall man, a very tall man. And he has really good stats, as you can see. So Van der Star starts this great team. And what else we need is two fullbacks that can go up and down. So on the left, we have Ferlan Mendy. 82 rated. I like it, Mendy. I like it. He's a bit basic and he's a bit starter squad, but for now he's doing the job. We're going to need upgrades soon. On the right, Ashraf Hakimi. He is in. He's here to stay. If you saw my squad builder the other week, I was debating a few of these cards and I have changed a few, but Hakimi has managed to make the cut. Then at centre back, we have the best centre back in the game and one of the best centre backs I think we've ever seen in any version of the game, especially at the start. He goes by the name of Virgil van Dijk. I've got his Nike Mad Ready loan. I think it might be one of the most pointless promos we've ever seen, but it is a promo and it looks cool because he's green. So he's in the team. Only thing I don't like about van Dijk is his acceleration, but it's made up by just how big he is. He is way too tall, way too strong. Feels like he has a for force field. Force field. Force field. He has a force field around him because he just keeps winning the ball no matter what. He has the aerial plus. And then he has a few others, as we can see, the block, the jockey. He's got quite a lot of defending play styles. And if you're new around here, I've told you already, play styles are more important than the rating on the screen. You could be 94 rated. If you don't have the play styles we need, you're not going to work in this game. And that brings me on to one of my favorite play styles, Jules Kunde. I like the name, cool name, even better play style because Jockey Plus is ridiculous. I think this might be the most overpowered one for a defender because if they can jockey that good, they're so hard to beat. You feel like you're in control whenever someone's running at you and it is very, very good. He has a slide tackle one. Don't really care for it. Not that bothered. And he does have relentless and quick step. I mean, does he need the quick step? Like, when am I going to do an explosive sprint with him? Maybe I will. Maybe you'll see me in the tournament and I'll be explosive sprinting with my centre-backs. But Koundé and Van Dijk, they complement each other perfectly. It's like big cook, little cook. We all watch the show. Van Dijk, the big one. Koundé's just mopping up around him. Little cook, jockeying his way around people. 
And that completes a solid back five, if you ask me. I'm a big fan of that. In midfield, I've got one of my favourite duos I've ever used. We have a woman and a man next to us. The woman is Puteas, and she's Nike ready and on loan. I want to make a disclaimer. The other week, I was roasting people for using loan cards in champs. This is different, okay? This is different. This is pro play only. I do not use loan cards in champs. So before you get in the comments and say, Tom, oh, you were going out on the other week. Oh, you're such a weirdo. You spent three grand on the game, and then you moaned at people for using loans. Uh, unfortunately, the game is the game. And to get the best team possible, I need to use these loan cards so I can buy the other cards. I don't like using them, but it just makes sense, okay? And if it makes sense, we're doing it. Puteas, you are in the club. Nike ready as well. Again, she just looks green. She's got a lot of good play styles with the first touch and technical. The passing ones you definitely notice as well. The ping pass, incisive pass, tiki taka. They are big on a midfielder. And she is so good, especially because of the five-star, five-star. A midfielder that good with five-star, five-star just doesn't make sense. She is the perfect player, and I would recommend that you can all pick her up whenever you can. If you ever get the coins, Puteas is one of the best cards on the game. Next to her, we've got Mr. Jude Bellingham himself. I love this man more than he would ever know, honestly. And we've now got him Trailblazer as well. We've upgraded him. He's a Trailblazer, and that means he gets technical plus play style this time instead of Relentless. He's still got Relentless, but he's not gold. He has technical plus, so his controlled sprint is even better. Bellingham is all action, and he is going to be the best midfielder on this game once he gets a couple more upgrades. He's going to have them. It's obvious. It's inevitable. Bellingham is going to have so many upgrades this year. Puteas, I prefer at the minute. But soon, Bellingham will be there. Let's move on to the front four. The front four is a big, big conversation to be had. The last loan card I'm using, okay? We'll get that out of the way. Vinicius Jr. Because he's five-star skills, four-star weak foot, he's also got the 95 pace as well and really, really good dribbling. Vinny is perfect because you can play him on the wing, play him right forward, left forward, or even maybe... I might play him right centre mid, depending on what I need from my squad. I'm still figuring that out. And again, using that loan has saved up my budget for the last three players. Because the th last three players are the ones where I break the bank. The first bank to be broke is Kylian Mbappe. Five star, four star, 97 pace. And it's Mbappe. Whatever, whatever version of the game we're in, it's Mbappe. There's never a world where he isn't effective. I could talk to you all day about what he can and can't do, but we all know as soon as I use him, he's going to be one of my best players. We then back Mbappe up with a trailblazer, Caroline Graham Hansen. What a woman. And she's been upgraded, and she's got finesse plus playstyle this time, which makes her even better. If you're new to playstyles, you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. The most overpowered one is finesse shot plus, simple as that. Honestly, you just finesse it with from anywhere, from anywhere, and it goes in the net. So Hansen has had a massive upgrade already, even if it was only a plus one on her card. And speaking of women that are too good, we complete the squad with a brand new signing. My most expensive signing of EAFC 24 cost me an absolute arm, leg, liver, and kidney. And it's everyone's favorite pro clubs player, Mia Ham. She comes with that pro clubs build. She comes with five star, five star. The American icon has joined the club and she will be playing up front. Look at that card. Ridiculous. She's got the finesse shot. She's got power shot plus. And if you're good with your power shots, this makes a big difference. They are so much quicker when they do it with that. Rapid, flair, first touch, relentless, and quick step. And the stats are on the screen. They show you already with a 92 pace, 93 shooting, 92 dribbling, 90 balance, and five star, five star. She is very small, but it makes her feel like you're playing pro clubs in Ultimate Team, which I consider a big win. Mia Hamm completes the starting 11, and I know it's absolutely ridiculous. And you may have noticed already, they're playing for a different badge now. We're no longer Chesson FC. It's been a big change. We are now the hashtag house. We identify as the hashtag house. Chesant FC, RIP, you lived a long career, six, seven years of that squad name, but we're now the hashtag house. Big changes. It's been big changes all around recently, and we've made arguably the biggest one yet. YouTube, I'm leaving this to you. Get it in the comments. What super subs do I use on Saturday? Please feel free to let me know. Whack them in. I'm willing to listen to any suggestions because my bench isn't quite where I want it to be. Whack them in the comments. Wish me luck. Big tournament on Saturday. Hopefully we come back and we've qualified from the top 12.